Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Gate here, back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Listen up, everyone. The Imperial Army is upon us. Hi, I'm if here too. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the goddess's protection on our oh, side. Oh God, no! We have nothing to fear. Victory will be ours. Why have I never used this little dagger that's on Professor, my hip right here? Are you ready? As ready as I can be. Almost. Well, hurry up. I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. Fuck you, Catherine. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. You know well how extraordinary she is. Yeah, of she's the we, best. But we can't let her get away. Also, please cease your unwarranted glaring. We don't deserve your judgment. My father was removed from his role as Prime Minister and is still under house arrest in the Imperial capital. As his successor, it is my duty to stop her. The way she's going about all of this is wrong. It's up to us to help her realize that. I won't be following her, but I won't run away either. God, I, I missed how young left. they looked. And that's a lot. That means we need to fight her with all of our might too. She is one who has strength. That has certainty. But we have strength also. We will not be losing. I shall fight with all that I have. It is an honor to fight alongside each of you. <laughs> you students really have guts, don't you? Yeah. No, I sure. suppose I can't call you students anymore. You're now part of our order. You have our support and our gratitude. No. Professor, I'm counting on you. Go ahead and take the lead. Of course. Leave it to me. These kids, they look up to you. I guess that goes without saying. Just look in their eyes and you can see it. If we all look make into it through my this, eyes, it's easy to see again. what I want to make two, two, and one make three. It was destiny. Once every hundred thousand years or so, when the sun don't shine and the moon don't grow, glow, and the grass stop grow. Oh, yes. Hilda. Yes, let's speak to Hilda. There's a lot of supports hey, going on. There are a lot of hardworking people here at the Academy, huh? Everyone focuses on training without even needing to be told. That's Maybe true. Maybe they think, I must protect my friends, even if I have to risk my neck. You're not diligent enough. You want to protect your friends? You want to protect your friends? Of course I'll try to protect them, but I don't understand why anyone would want to risk their life for someone else. When you die, no matter how you died, it's over. To me, it's more important to enjoy life. We only live once, after all. It's a waste to spend all your time working and being responsible, right? I'm not sure. Well, no matter what people may think, I'm going to keep being me. So in our next battle, I'll support everyone from the sidelines. No. Aw, oh, come on, please. How about I do something for you as a way of saying thanks? Oh, I know. I'll let you join me for dinner in the city. Two pretty ladies strolling around town. I'm sure someone will treat us. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Okay, okay, just think on it. <laughs> Hell, that support's interesting. That's for sure. So yeah, um, this video is just gonna be mostly comprised of supports. <laughs> I'm sure we'll we should be able to see them, right? Yeah, good. Because holy shit, we have a lot of them to watch. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but we can't watch the ones for me. Which, granted, it's only between Lorenz, Ignatz, and Felix and Cyril, but they, they, I, I'm not, I'm, obviously I'm going to skip the ones we have already seen because obviously, um, actually before I do anything, I want to do certification. Is there anything on here I could get? I mean, I have a good chance with the Falcon Knight, but I probably want my Lance and Flying to be a little bit better than what actually is. What about these ones? Need better heavy armor. 
Better axe and better bow. I definitely need a better bow and better faith, so. So I might as well just go with the for sure one. I'm not gonna change that. A new path? Yeah, I've, I've, based, I've grinded some people up. Not by a lot, but a decent amount, I'd say. Yeah, we definitely need Cyril to be some other class. He won't, he's only had the one. So, you should do that. Oh, yeah, playing... Finished up Dancer, but... Should probably see what um I have succeeded. I need to see what that thing does. The the one thing that she got. Ah, uh, Catherine, you're fine. You have some classes that I could go over with for you. Same with Shamir. Uh Sadith. Sadith is someone that I could probably Oh dear god. Yes, he looks amazing in that. No, I want to keep you as a wyvern lord. Or is that just the writer? Whatever it is. Hilda! Can I get you to become that, or do you need heavy armor more? Or axes? Yeah, you need better axes. Okay, that's fine. Um... I guess everyone else is kind of... Well, hold on a second here. I just want you to have Monk, so then I could get you to get Reason better. Easy. Uh, I don't know if I want you to be in the new class yet or not. We'll see. Now you're fine. I think everyone... This is also hard is to pick what classes to give them. That's fine. Alright, but anyway. Now we're just gonna watch supports that we haven't seen before. Like, uh, these ones. So let's watch them. It just never ends. Oh, Ferdinand? Hilda, do you need something? I just have a tiny favor to ask. I apologize, but I must graciously decline. You didn't even let me say what it was. I can proffer a guess. Instead of relying on others, why not try doing something on your own? Nobles should not be lazy or idle. We should accomplish our goals through earnest effort. Easy for you to say. You're the very model of a diligent noble. Always contemplating the noblest course of action, never stopping to take a break. Your chore today was repairing the weapons, right? There are so many weapons here, and yet you're already done. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> it was nothing. Anyone could have done the same. I don't think so. I certainly couldn't. I do not believe that to be true. Look at me. I'm supposed to be organizing these library supplies, but I have no idea where to start. What could be difficult about such a task? You simply line them up and count them. There are too many. Well, maybe it doesn't seem difficult to you, but that's just because you're so clever. Granted, there might be some creative approaches to completing the task. Oh? Please, enlighten me. Hmm, I can point you in the right direction. To start, divide them up by size. Right, right. I'm with you so far. And then what? Now, put similar items together. That makes it easier to get a handle on the numbers. I see. Then what? Now that you have arranged everything, you can begin counting. See how easy it is? Wow! You did that in no time! You really saved my neck there. Thanks, Ferdinand. Bye! <laughs> it was nothing. I... Oh. Yeah. I suppose I ended up doing her work after all. <laughs> that was a nice one. Alright. Plane and him. 
We actually get to see like almost Good all day, of planes. Ferdinand. Working on your armor again? Good day to you too. That is right. I have been overusing it a bit lately. Now, allow me to wager a guess. Are you feeling hungry as usual? As usual? It is not as though I am always searching for a meal. I just... I am rather interested in armor. Do you mind if I peer over your shoulder while you work? Of course not. Please, feel free to observe. Thank you for allowing me the pleasure. Oh, so many different types. Wow, helmets, armor, gauntlets. The range of defensive items seems innumerable. This one seems different from the rest of them. It is akin to a gauntlet, except... Flame, careful! Huh? Whoa, oh. what? Flame, are you alright? Did you Flaine. injure yourself? I am well. But what was that? That could have been serious. Uh, please forgive me. I should have warned you first. Uh, this is a new type of gauntlet with a spring-loaded blade over the knuckles. The mechanism is rather easily triggered. Uh, how foolish of me not to warn you. No, I am the one who is overly curious and reached out without permission. My apologies. But, um, when you snatched me out of harm's way, you, er, uh, you embraced me quite tightly. Ah, uh, yes. You were in danger and my instincts simply took hold. I hope you will forgive my rashness. No, no it is not that at all. It is just my brother would be very upset with me. I mean, my father. I mean, my my father. I mean, my uh, brother. I mean, did it hurt? I am so sorry, Flane. I did not mean to cause you any discomfort. Not at all. Not not in the slightest. Anyway, I had better be on my way. Such a delicate creature, and that sweet demeanor. Yeah, snap out of it, Ferdinand. <laughs> Yeah, that was nice. Okay, Linhart and Flane. I know for sure that's a new one. Flane, I have another question for you, if you please. Another one, Linhart? When will you leave me in peace? A breakthrough has been made concerning your crest. A major crest of St. Sethleen, correct? Well, yes. I've been trying to keep that quiet. Part of my interest on this topic is that I possess a minor crest of Sethleen myself. I am aware. Possessing a minor crest is uncommon, but not rare among the noble families. However, a major crest of Seth Lean, that is beyond rare. Oh, is it? I am quite curious as to why you were born with such a rare major crest. Given that mine is a minor crest of the same type, it's possible that you and I are distant relations. You and I? Related? Huh. I am quite certain that is not the case. Oh, do you have access to a detailed ancestry? That could be a most useful tome. No, I do not. However... A shame. Oh, to explore one's lineage and investigate such possibilities. Alas, the odds of your being a direct descendant of St. Sethleen are quite low. The prevailing theory among respectable scholars is that St. Sethleen died having never married. It's true she's unmarried. Er, uh, was unmarried, that is. I hate to disappoint you, but I'm not a descendant of St. Sethleen. Of this, I can assure you. While I do not subscribe to your absolute certainty, <laughs> I do agree your relation to her is highly unlikely. Yet there is some connection between yourself and St. Sethleen. What was that you were mumbling to yourself? Nothing. My apologies. Simply thinking aloud. I do hope we can continue this discussion sometime. He always acts so oddly. It makes me ill at ease. Okay. No, for sure, with her, her and him and Catherine are Catherine. new. Thunderbrand, I'm here to see it. Well, uh, that came out of the blue. I wish for you to show me Thunderbrand so I may better understand the relic before I attempt to use it. You want to use Thunderbrand? <laughs> Is this a joke? By no means. My research demands this next step. Have you paid any attention to your training? 
If you use a hero's relic that doesn't match your crest, you'll become a demonic beast. I am well aware of what became of Niklon Gautier. It is true that those lacking a crest are easily turned into demonic beasts when attempting to use any relic. However, research indicates that if you have a crest, even if the relic is not compatible, it's less likely that you will be transformed against your will. Less likely doesn't mean impossible. I won't let you take such a dangerous gamble. There's no recorded example of a transformation occurring after a single use of a relic. One attempt is barely a gamble. So, as a man of science, let me use it just once. Nope, never. Let's say you're right and I do become a demonic beast. What of it? I'm the only one who will be inconvenienced. And I've already made preparations to be subdued should that occur. I fail to see your problem. You're a fool. Don't talk about the hero's relics like they're toys to play with. Fine then, forget I asked. There is no persuading you when you're angry. Let us resume this conversation another time. If you come back another time, you'll find my position hasn't changed. work, Felix! Why are you here? You're interrupting. Oh, uh, my apologies. I simply thought you were doing a great job. Just how sharp is that blade of yours, Felix? Do you imagine you might be able to cut something cleanly with it? Probably. Ah, wonderful! I have a special request for you, then. You want me to cut this firewood? I do. I shall toss them one by one to you, and you shall make a sweeping blow to slice them. Sounds like a chore. I saw a knight do it once, so surely you can as well. Or perhaps you are worried that you are not capable. What? I am more than capable. Right. Show me what you are made of. Here it comes. <sighs> Doing them one by one is tedious. Just throw them all at once. All of them? If you insist. Here we go! Wow! You truly are spectacular! I know. You are undoubtedly the most revered woodcutter in all the land! Now I am intrigued. Next time, let us try an even larger woodpile! Why did I agree to this? That's odd. I'm sure I just had it a moment ago. Um... Ah, ghost! Actually... The goddess, protect me! I... Uh, huh? Um, Ash? Does this key belong to you? I found it by the door. Marianne! I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, that's mine. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And my apologies for scaring you. No, I'm the one who should be sorry. Kind of ridiculous, mistaking a friend for a ghost. No, that's okay. I guess I do look like one. No, of course you don't. It's just I, um, in the dark with your head down like that and, and with your... Hair covering your eyes, I... Does that make me look scary? No, oh, please stop. I'm sorry that I look so ghastly. 
Why not just lift your head up a little? Up? You mean like this? Yes. That's so much better. With some light on your face, you don't look scary at all. That's great. You look completely normal now. Actually, you are pretty cute. What did you say? Hmm? Uh, nothing. Um, uh, just keep your head up and smile. <laughs> I promise you'll never be mistaken for a ghost again. Keep my head up and smile? I'm sorry, but I don't think I can. What? Hey, hey wait! Uh, is it something I said? Hi. Why do you look so down? But hey, if you're talking to me of your own accord, can I assume you've figured out I'm not a monster? I wanted to apologize about my treatment of you earlier, Sylvain. I am not normally one to put stock in such rumors. Nothing to be upset about. I mean, I've kind of earned that reputation. I've just... I've got this sickness. When I see a pretty girl, I can't stop myself from flirting with her. Like you, for instance. Oh, I am so sorry to hear of your illness. Perhaps my magic will help heal you. Huh? No, I didn't mean it like that. No? Are you not ill then? You know what? Let's just... Let's move on. Can I take this to mean everything is good between us? Of course. Sylvain, I look forward to getting to know you without the falsity of rumors. Great. Would you like to celebrate our new friendship by joining me for a meal? You would treat me to a feast? <laughs> that is very kind of you. A chance to spend time with a sweet girl like yourself? It's a pleasure. Your voice like birdsong. Your eyes clear as diamonds. But above all, I'm drawn to your kind and loving heart. I am a captive to your charms, Flame. I hear that very frequently. Thank you. Yeah, I... Ah, I guess a girl as cute as you would get a lot of compliments. Anyway, what type of meal were you considering, Sylvain? I would love some seafood, followed by a delicious cake! Oh, I am absolutely famished, as I often am. Shall we be on our way? <laughs> she's a tough one. Sheltered girls like her usually fall for that kind of stuff. But she's much too savvy. Even for a smooth talker like myself. I'm not sure there's even enough room to breathe. <sighs> I haven't been tidying lately. I start to procrastinate when I'm busy. Oh. Hey, how about I clean up for you? Really? That would be amazing! So are you good at cleaning? I love it! Actually, the messier a room is, the more determined I get to conquer the crud. Works for me. I'll leave you to it. Don't want to get in your way. Great! See you later! Annette? Oh no, my face! Oh my goodness, I am so, so sorry! I'll clean it up right- <laughs> Not again! The, 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 there was a big bug! So big! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Annette, do something! Wait, not magic! 
Nick. I don't want you to burn my room down. I'm so terribly sorry, Hilda. I wanted to clean up for you, but I basically did the opposite. No kidding. I guess it was my fault for getting you to clean up my mess. At any rate, you've made such a mess of my mess. Now I feel motivated to clean my own room. So that's kind of a positive outcome. I guess that's one way to think of it. You know, I really do admire your can-do attitude. Although it might be, uh, too much. You don't want to overextend yourself. For one thing, you'll tire yourself out. Based on what I just saw, you might even get hurt. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm fine. I've been like this my whole life. I've never wanted to let anyone down. My parents, my uncle. So I always try to give it my all. And it's taken me this far, at least. I guess so. But going all out to please others, never thinking of yourself, that's no way to live. Hello, Catherine. A moment of your time. Oh, it's you. Yes? That sword you wear upon your hip, how did you come by it, exactly? I don't appreciate your tone. Are you implying I swiped it off someone? Not at all, but heroes' relics are typically passed down through the bloodlines of the Ten Elites. You are descended from a noble family, are you not? That's none of your business. Actually, Let's say I was a nobody, with no relic, no crest. I would still be me, wouldn't I? That's not to say lineage counts for nothing. It just doesn't count as much as how you live your life and what you live for. Or, let's say I was descended from some noble house. Would that change how you treat me? Yes, it would. To treat you differently from the common folk would only be appropriate. You're so narrow-minded, tied down by foolish, antiquated notions. But the nobility and the common folk are different. If the few did not have capabilities to set them apart from the many, then they would not be the few. Wow. You really think nobles are better than everyone else, don't you? I didn't mean to suggest... You pay so much attention to people's lineage and status that you have no idea who they actually are. Even if I was from the prestigious house whatever, I would never associate with a blowhard like you. Right, then this goes here. Hello, Raphael. What exactly are you doing with that piece of wood? Hey, Hilda. I'm just doing this. With your bare hands. Impressive that just the outer ring is left. It makes quite a nice circle. Yeah. I just gotta polish it up and paint it. Then the base of the necklace will be ready. Sorry, did you say necklace? How's it look? I bet it's the right size, too. And this tree bark smells amazing. Now I just need to carve these boar tusks to hang from it. Four tusks? I almost forgot. I was gonna add these wolf claws too. And I could even add some color to them. And wolf claws? Huh? Is something wrong, Hilda? That necklace! It has a certain, uh, rustic charm? You're right. It really does. Want me to make you one while I'm at it? Oh, no. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Besides, I think it would look better on you than on me. <laughs> it would definitely look good on me. But this one's actually a birthday present for my little sis. For your sister? I, I mean, uh, uh... Don't you think she might like something more feminine? Something cute? 
Something cute? What's wrong with something tough and rugged? This necklace is gonna have tusks and claws and stuff. But girls don't usually go for tusks and claws and stuff. There should be flowers or gems or... Here, I, I can talk you through it. If you're making a necklace for your sister, you might try putting a pretty little flower in a small crystal bottle and sealing it with resin. If you say so. But where would I find a flower that was pretty enough? Oh, honestly, I don't know much about flowers. But, hmm, now that I think about it, I remember hearing about a splendid flower that only blooms near Fodlin's throat. Fodlin's throat? That's on the eastern edge of the Alliance. I'd have to leave now if I'm going to make it back in time. <laughs> yeah, that does seem like a bit of a stretch. Okay, let me think. Um, where'd he go? Well, no matter. Yet another lovely day. On such a fine day as this, it would certainly be nice to go for a stroll with someone. I wonder if anyone is around. Oh my. Such awful noises! Who, or rather, what is making those sounds? Huh? Oh, hello, Flame! <gasps> my, my apologies. I feel a bit better now. Oh, you scared me. You nearly knocked me over with that scream. Well, you startled me! Appearing out of nowhere and making such sounds? What is it you are doing here anyway? I'm just out here using logs to train. Wow. Are you really capable of lifting something so massive, Raphael? Of course. Wanna see? <laughs> see? Told you I could do it. That was magnificent. Do you suppose I could give it a try as well? Hmm. It might be a bit too much for your tiny arms. Tiny or no, I want to be stronger. Do you have any tips for someone both willing and eager to grow? It's probably best to start by practicing your battle cry. If you let out a good shout, you'll feel even more powerful. Ah, you are a font of knowledge. Can you apply your wisdom and show me by example? No problem. Just follow my lead. Yeah! Okay, I'm sorry I'm on the phone and that's why you guys haven't heard me, but goddamn, that one was fucking incredible and I fucking love that one. Oh my god, Flame is just the best so far. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm mute for all this, but you know it's support, so I don't think it's that big of an issue. Um, oh, this is an interesting one. Flame, I'm so sorry, are you hurt? No. No need for concern. I'm quite all right. Are you sure you're all right? Were you injured? No, nothing of the sort. I just got a bit dizzy, standing up so quickly. We should go to the infirmary. Come on, I can take you there. Come now. I appreciate the concern, but I am quite all right. Look, I am perfectly fine now. See? Ignatz. Are you... there? Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Did you say something? Mm-hmm. I understand now. Understand what? Though I know little regarding affairs of the heart, 
Even I can clearly see one's intent when they stare so much. I am sorry, but at the moment I am not looking for... Well... Oh, no, 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 no. You misunderstood. I just... You just... Just what? What is it? I'm just... Fascinated. By you. Fascinated? By me? Yes. Your gaze, full of divine dignity. Your silhouette, as elegant as a statue. If Saint Sethleen herself were reborn, you would look no less wondrous than she. I see. Oh, I'm sorry, so sorry. I don't know what came over me, saying something like that. No, not at all. Tell me, what are your thoughts on Saint Sethleen exactly? Uh, well, from the few accounts I've heard, she was a beauty, and her kindness was inexhaustible. Very good. As a reward, I shall not report your behavior to my brother. This time. <laughs> yes, I'd be most grateful if you didn't. I can hardly imagine what Sedith would do if he found out. Well then, farewell. Perhaps we will have another chance to chat later. <laughs> she seemed awfully pleased, Oh, my she? lords. Flame. Hmm. I... I'm very interested to learn, like, is she actually a descent? I mean, she obviously is a descent of Saint Sikli, or is she actually, like, both a descendant and a reincarnation of her? Uh, Lysithia. Obviously, with those two people, is there more? Um, I guess it's just more so with those two, and I haven't had anything with Hilda, so. Now let's check out Catherine and her. It was so sunny this morning, but now it's absolutely pouring. Did you hear the thunder just now? Good thing we got all the clothes indoors before the skies opened up. I apologize for troubling you with this task. Don't worry about it. I was just passing by and thought I could help. I know how frustrating it is to have your newly dried clothes soaked by rain. Oh. What's wrong? We managed to keep all of the clothes dry, didn't we? It's just... odd. Every time it's my turn to wash the clothing, there's a sudden downpour. Surely it must just mm. be an inconvenient coincidence. But I can't help feeling as though I'm somehow to blame for it. Aww, uh, I poor see. Lysithia. That probably is your fault. Wow, you're even harsher than I am. You have a crust of Karen, don't you? I do, yes, but... Hold on a moment. How did you know that? I can just tell. I have a crest of Karen too. And I've noticed that, whenever I need dry weather, there's rain. Don't you think it's our crests making the rain fall upon us? How had I never connected this? This is quite a revelation. A crest affecting the weather. <laughs> well, I don't know how true it is. There are only the two of us, which is a pretty small sample of people. I suppose that's true. So, we must test our hypothesis. Hmm. Maybe we can find someone who tends to bring the sunshine around. That would be especially handy for helping out with the wash. Now there's an idea. This is an interesting one. Huh. Wait, they both have the same crest? Hold on a second here. I never noticed that. Crest of Chiron has crest of Chiron has crest of Chiron has crest of Chiron One ought to do. Uh, what are you doing, Cyril? I'm picking out logs to carry back and chop into firewood. You can't expect to carry all these by yourself. Let me help. No, I got it. I don't want you getting hurt. Logs are heavy sometimes. 
I'm well aware. You should accept the help being offered. I'm older and wiser. I know best. Um, Lysithia, you seem a bit shaky. You okay? Yep, totally fine. I'm just kind of losing my grip on this log. Ah! Well, that wasn't much help as it turned out. I didn't realize they'd be that heavy. I couldn't even walk in a straight line. I told you, logs are heavy sometimes. It's hard work if you're not used to it. I feel foolish. Well, if you've learned your lesson, I'm gonna go carry the other logs. Hang on. Shouldn't you rest for a bit? Wood still needs chopping. I got a bunch of other stuff needs doing before sundown, too. In that case, let me help you carry the chopped wood. You know how rough firewood is? You'll get splinters if you carry it with your soft hands. <sighs> you can't be serious. You're just not cut out for this kind of work. Look at your hands. They're like a princess's. No point in you learning to chop wood, is there? You don't need to know how to do that stuff. You and me live in different worlds. There's no point lowering yourself down into mine. Our worlds aren't so different. We're together right now, aren't we? Sure, we live in the same places now, but that's not gonna last forever. Don't see how it could. Unless I actually turned into your little brother or something. <laughs> Farewell. Just a moment, Hilda. How are you feeling? Sorry? Oh, uh, fine. I'm doing just fine. I'm glad to hear it. I had heard that you requested a substitute for your cleaning duty due to an illness. <sighs> you really do know everything, Seth. Just prior to that, you also asked for someone to take your place with table setting. I believe that was due to a uh, wrist injury. It was not too serious, I hope. Ah, you heard about that. The wrist is all healed up, thank you. I seem to recall also that you declined to participate in a mock battle. That was due to a headache, yes? I have a very fragile body, you see? <laughs> it's so kind of everyone to make accommodations. Indeed. It is a great friend who offers to help without complaint. See that you treasure such friends, and that you return the favor. Of course! Well then, I should really be... By the way... Was there something else you wanted? It so happens I am on my way to the chapel to offer my prayers. Would you care to join me? No, no, I, I wouldn't want to intrude. I've already offered up all my prayers for the day. Marvelous! We must always remember to give our thanks to the goddess. It is essential that we offer our prayers to her each day, that we reflect on our deeds and strive to live as she would want us to live. For the goddess sees all that we say and do. Oh, I... Now, if you will excuse me. Of course. Goodbye now. is Sedith so scary? It feels like he can see right through me. I guess that's his way of saying stop being lazy. I wish he'd just scold me outright. This is precisely why I try to avoid him. <laughs> That's enough. You're done for today. Right. Thanks. 
Are you feeling pain anywhere, Leone? No. Sorry, I'm all right. Why are you apologizing? Because I can't hold my own against you. And on top of that, you have to worry about hurting me. I feel like I've let you down. Do you know what I meant when I said, you're done for today? Probably that I was about to keel over. No, it wasn't about your physical strength. I could tell that you didn't have the will to keep fighting. I've got plenty of will. No matter what I do, I can't win. Isn't that what you were thinking? If you think you can't win, you won't. <laughs> Perhaps you already knew that. Good point. But never assume that you'll win. That is, don't underestimate your foe. At all times, you have to keep a clear head to make split-second decisions. In battle, mistakes are deadly. But I don't have a crest or a relic. How could I ever hope to beat you? If you put it like that, I'll fight barehanded, and I won't use my crest. Think you can win? Do your worst. Oh dear, I might have overdone it there. But I believe in her. I would be doing her a disservice if I pulled any punches. It's Leone after all. She'll be back on her feet and charging at me before I know it. Flame, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Uh, you worry too much, brother. I think a kidnapping is good cause for concern. I was so worried about you, I nearly fainted. Had that not happened, I would have never been allowed to join the professor's class. Even from something so dire, some good did come of it. That is a dangerous attitude. This world is full of peril. You must be more vigilant. Please understand, I allowed you to enroll here only because I thought it best for your safety. I am very much aware of that. You wanted to speak to me of something? Yes, my dear little sister. You are kind beyond all measure, and you are the very picture of innocence. But precisely because of these very fine qualities, I worry about your interactions with the others here. This year's students are particularly eccentric. As your brother, it is my duty to help you with any concerns you may have. I do appreciate the offer, but all the students and professors have treated me exceptionally well. Even so, there must be at least some worry. Please, you need not conceal anything from me. You worry far too much. There is truly nothing to share, and nothing for you to fret over. Are you absolutely sure? The idea of you suffering in silence is unbearable to me. Enough! I made it clear that nothing is wrong. I stand by my word. Well, there is one concern that comes to mind. What is it? Tell me. I will help however I can. There is a certain somebody who seems determined to get in the way of my friendships with my classmates. What? That's horrible! Fear not. I will handle this scoundrel for you. Just tell me his name. It is you, brother. Now then, I must be on my way. What was Flame getting at just now? Let's see, I was speaking to her. I asked her to share her concerns, and was there something else? <laughs> no matter. Fear not, Flame. Your brother will protect you from all harm. I know you are there, Hanneman. Well, uh, you say, uh, are those crest documents? Ah, oh, Seth, have you finally decided to cooperate with my research? Absolutely not. For 16 years I have refused your requests. I have no intention of changing my mind. But I will lend you these documents I have found, on the condition that you stop following me. 
I am quite tempted by the offer, but your cooperation would be of much greater value. Your crest, the major crest of Keyhole, is so rare. As far as I am aware, Seth, you are the only person ever confirmed to bear that particular crest. How did you come to possess it? My answer is the same as every other time you have asked. I do not know. I was born a commoner, with no connections to any crests. There are no records of my lineage. Oh, please. That thin explanation could never discourage me. You must understand, I will dig until I find the truth, no matter how long it takes. You are wasting your time. I cannot give you the answers you seek. Even if you were to discover the reason why I bear the major crest of Keyhole, I doubt it would satisfy you. That is for me alone to decide. And even if you are correct, that confirmation itself would be a valuable discovery. Such is the way of research, yes? I'm afraid I cannot attest to that. I'm no scholar. In any case, if you really have no need for the documents, you will not mind if I dispose of them. Let's not do anything hasty now. I will leave you alone, for now. But I am taking these documents with me. Once I complete my research on these papers, it'll be your turn, Seteth. I will learn the truth of your crest. It is a pointless endeavor. You will learn nothing from me, no matter how much you try. <sighs> Perhaps his stubborn nature is one of the effects of his crest. Now that would be an interesting discovery. The first stage of my research will be to decipher his personality. Manuela, a moment. Oh, hello, Seteth. I must apologize, but I am quite busy. Perhaps we could talk another time? I have already confirmed that you have no urgent business. I would like to hear your explanation now. My explanation? For what? Allow me to be more specific. Where were you, and what were you doing last night? Oh, my dear Sedith, you must relax that worried brow. Those forehead creases will ruin your beauty. Just answer the question, please. What question is that? The one you already know the answer to? Last night I had a bit of fun and a bit of drink. Less of one and more of the other, sure, but... How much you drink is not my concern. But you are an adult who is tasked with the supervision of children. You should not be causing trouble for the students. It is unacceptable for you to expose them to your disgraceful behavior. Even more so to impose upon them the labor of cleaning up your mess. Oh, don't oversell it. All they did was walk with me back to my room. From what I hear, you had to be carried. I'd like to think I'd remember that. If it happened, and it probably didn't, it's not as if I'm heavy. Nobody hurt themselves, did they? Come on, Sedith, loosen up. If you're so worried about how I'll behave, why don't you join me for a drink sometime? I mean, I only get in trouble when I drink alone. If it will help to improve your behavior, I would not object to accompanying you from now on. Well, that sounds just delicious. What are you doing tonight, around...? But first I will lecture you on all of the intricacies of proper behavior in the supervision of children. And until I am done, you will not drink a drop of alcohol. If you agree to those conditions, I will join you. I will even drink with you. Alcohol has little effect on me. That is just... You know, getting lectured by you is... Well, I think the word is torture. Yes, that's it. Torture. And I won't have it. <sighs> I'm going to go get a drink and try to forget this ever happened. How is it that you imagine yourself the tortured one? <laughs> How are you, Catherine? 
you look well enough. Hmm? Oh, yes, I'm fine. Never better. That is good. I cannot help but be concerned, given your tendency toward incautious behavior. While boldness can be a virtue, I do hope you will bear in mind that recklessness is not. A moment's negligence can lead to a mortal wound for even the most skilled fighter. You worry too much. If they saw me in action, the wounds themselves would cower. That is precisely the attitude that worries me. Especially given your history. You have been gravely injured before, as you no doubt recall. Me? Gravely injured? When did that happen? You mean you have forgotten? It was during your days as a student at the Officers' Academy. There was an excursion, a monster hunt. You charged ahead and left your fellow students behind. You ended up alone and surrounded. You almost died. Do you truly not remember? Are you sure? All I remember is cutting down monsters left and right. That is true enough, but you nearly bled to death in the aftermath. The Archbishop was so concerned for your life that she tended your wounds personally. Oh! That was when that happened! Finally! It all fits together! Lady Rhea looking after me. Now that I remember clearly. That was the first time she ever spoke to me. I was lying on the ground, caked in mud, and she gently picked me up, even stroked my hair. The emotions were so overpowering that they must have just cleared away my memory of the whole incident. So it was during the monster hunt. Thanks, Sedith. That's been bothering me for ages. That is not quite why I brought it up. Come to think of it, Lady Rhea hasn't healed me since then. Maybe if I get wounded badly enough, I'll have that honor again. <laughs> I know you have a fondness for the Archbishop, but do try to control yourself. Captain's a masochist. Oh, if I get injured, I'll get healed by Lady Rhea again. Yay! Uh, sorry, I'm still on the phone, by the way, guys. I'm... I'm only popping in every now and then. We're hey, very Seth, close to all the supports you. that we have not seen yet, so Thank that's you, good. That's Would you mind good. waiting just a moment for me to confirm the contents? Sure thing. All seems to be accounted for. I lack the time to handle tasks of this kind myself. I appreciate you making the effort. Is there anything I can assist you with? Do you have any concerns? Concerns? Nah, I'm happy just working for Lady Rhea. I got a way better life now than I ever did before. If your better life is this frugal, I have to wonder what your previous experience was like. It must not have been easy before you came to us. But you should know that is in the past now. You are young, you should be enjoying life. Do not allow your past to overshadow that. Is there nothing you desire? We will support you in any way we can. Really, there's nothing. Except... Nah, it's okay. Except? I don't got anywhere else to go, and I just want to be able to stay here forever. This place Lady Rhea gave me, it's the only place I know to call home. I will keep that in mind. Well, I got work to do. Excuse me. Of course. I apologize for delaying you. Hello, Manuela. I was just wondering, what was it like back when you were involved with that opera troupe? Your life must have been quite different from how it is here, I imagine. My, how bold to ask an adult about their private life. I'll humor you, though. A diva's life is only glamorous while she's on stage. The rest of her time is consumed by grueling training. Just days and days of practicing, beginning at sunrise, with barely a moment to rest from one performance to the next. Then, once the performances begin, you're on stage for three shows a day. Absolutely exhausting. Is that anything like you imagined? It sounds like a world all its own! Thank you! I find the topic fascinating. What sort of roles did you tend to be cast in? As the lead performer, did you play the part of a princess much? 
Oh, I can only imagine how illustrious that would be. Yes, I was a princess once or twice. And it was quite something, let me tell you. All those royal jewels and flowing gowns. And they didn't just give me the pretty clothes to wear because I was beautiful, you know. I had to fight and claw my way into every role. But once I was there on stage, singing my solo, and all eyes were on me, it was worth it. I was rewarded for every one of my countless hours of practice. And the cheers when I finished a song, the applause. Oh, I can't properly explain it. But I can tell you, it's an experience I will cherish until the day I die. Wondrous. It all sounds so very glamorous. Despite how rigorous a schedule you kept, it sounds like the hard work was worth those fleeting moments on stage. Mine has always been a quiet life. It is hard not to feel a twinge of envy hearing such stories from you. There's a lot to be said for the quiet life. It was never for me, of course. Still, I hear it's a pretty good deal for a lot of other folks. The thing is, Flame, well, you always have to remind yourself that if a place shines brighter than anywhere else, its shadows will be darker, too. What... what do you mean? Oh, nothing. Nothing. It's a thing I hope you never come to understand. You know what? The next time you visit, I'll tell you all about the time I played a beautiful princess and about the handsome prince she fell in love with. Oh, please! I would love to hear all about it! <laughs> Louise, looks like you're done for the day. Care to join me in the dining hall? Ah, Catherine, how could I refuse? Nothing like a good drink. I feel better already. The grub's not bad either. This is the perfect way to end a long day of work. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. It feels like a weight's been lifted from my shoulders. It's at times like this, when worldly worries fall away, that I can really live in the moment. It's intoxicating. Worldly worries live in the moment? <laughs> Look who's suddenly waxing poetic. Wait, you feel intoxicated before you've had a drop of booze? Talk about a lightweight. Hello! Just the man I was looking for. Ah, yes. Were you the fellow selling ancient coins? <laughs> yes, sir. Since our meeting at the antique shop yesterday, I got my hands on something new. Here we are. Look at this magnificent coin. Do you see the engraving? It's the crest of House Karen, one of the kingdom's most prominent noble families. It's an exceptionally rare piece, commissioned by a hero a thousand years ago. By a hero? A thousand years ago? I'll take it! How much do I owe you? For a collector such as yourself, sir, I'm happy to offer it at a discounted price. Let's see, uh, that'll be... Hold on! Stop trying to swindle my friend. You're claiming a hero from House Karen had their crest engraved on this coin. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Tell me, as a collector of antiques, are you familiar with this piece? It's a legendary sword. Ma'am, please, keep your nose out of my... What? Is that... Thunderbrand? That's not possible. It couldn't be. You are familiar with it. Excellent. Perhaps you know how cleanly it slices through liars and sheets. Ah! ah! You're saying that whole story was a lie? I thought it was obvious.
and he said, I don't even have a horse. <laughs> Pretty funny story, huh? <sighs> what is it, Shamir? You're not laughing. Didn't you think it was funny? Sure. So then laugh. You could stand to be a little friendlier, you know. Do I need to be? What do you mean, need to be? Friendship isn't about obligation. You could try being a bit warmer. Like when I first met you, I took the time to introduce myself and make friendly conversation. And you just said, hi, I'm Shamir. I remember thinking that you wouldn't be easy to get along with. Now that's funny. I remember thinking you were just another knight who loved the sound of her own voice. You know, the type who's all talk but useless in battle. Well, that's a bit harsh. Did you really think that? Yes. <laughs> but you changed your mind when you saw me in action. <sighs> I did. You're surprisingly strong. Well, even though you had zero charm, you did a nice job of supporting me. Now I know that you'll always have my back. In fact, maybe I should take it easy and let you handle all the fighting. It sounds like I'm going to be doing a lot more work around here. <laughs> we make a pretty good team. At any rate, we're bound together, so we better try to get along. Don't you think, partner? If that's how you see it, I can't disagree. Hey, Shamir, how do you think I'm doing with my boat lately? Think I'm getting pretty good? I hit closer to the bullseye today, and that felt real good. You were fine. Fine? That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Shamir. <sighs> you take too many direct shots, though. But it's easier if you shoot straight. Of course it is. But if you can hit your enemy with a straight shot, you're too close. Tell me, Cyril, what's an archer's greatest weakness? Um... When we get too close to the enemy and we can't shoot the way we're supposed to? Exactly. As an archer, your position is critical. Know exactly how far the enemy is and keep a minimum safe distance. Understood? You mean to stay away from the enemies, but not too far away or my arrows can't hit them. So you understand why you can't rely on straight shots. You have to use curved shots as well. Never run up to your target. Hit them from a safe range. Shoot them from a safe range with curved shots. Archers should always control the battlefield. Okay, yeah, I get that. I'm gonna go practice some of those curved shots right now. You're not a bad student. If nothing else, you have the right attitude. You think so? Keep it up. I will. Alright, well that's going to do it for all these support guys. Thank you all so much for watching this. I know they were all quiet because I didn't really commentate, but I think that was fine. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Guys, if you liked the video, please give a like button a click. Comment down below if you like about the video, didn't like about the video. And let me know what you like about Flane's battle cry. I thought it was adorable, so yeah. And as always guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel too, it's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter, both my main Twitter, RBG Kim Kid Twitter are there too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.